Pre produce some surprising results with three away wins as Hartland stunned Aimba in Aba. Manchester United finally gets one over the Wolf Park with victory in the FA Cup replay at Old Trafford. A magical Orlando ends Lakers streak in the NBA. My name is Dick Jamonte. Welcome to Sports Express. My name is for Thursday's edition of Sports Express. We have international newsreel as our starting point. Here is Pedro Peter. Thank you, Deji. We start with tennis. We have Romania second seed Simona Halep has been knocked out of the Adelaide International in Australia, following a surprise three set defeat to Arena Sabalenka of Belarus in the quarterfinals. The 28 year old fell 6 4 6 2 to Sabalenka in one hour, nine minutes to crash out of the event, while the Yanaya Strem star of Ukraine took out Croatia from a package 6 4 6 2 to progress into the semi finals. Elsewhere, play at the qualifying tournament for the Australian program had to be cancelled for the day following poor air quality from ongoing bushfires in the country. To cricket, England all round Ben Stokes has been named the Player of the Year by the International Cricket Council, ICC. The 28-year-old has had a brilliant 12 months, scoring an unbeaten 135 runs in England's thrilling final day victory over Australia at Heading in August during the Ashes, while he was named Man of the Match as England won the Cricket World Cup in a dramatic Super Over against New Zealand in July. Stokes is also the only England player to be included in the ICC's Test Team of the Year. Lastly, to Formula One, Williams have confirmed that Israeli driver Roy Nisani will be their test driver in Formula One for the 2020 season. The 25 year old who last raced in Formula Two in 2018 will drive in three practice sessions and one test session as part of his role. Thank you very much, Pedro Pisa. That's the international news. When you go to the NBA, quite a lot of games. Let me quickly rush through all the results. Denver Nuggets outshone Charlotte Hornets 186. Um, Dallas Mavericks over Sacramento 127-123. We have to mention that in that game, Luka Doncic had 25 points, 15 rebounds, and 17 assists. Triple double, insane. Chicago Bulls career high as well. Chicago Bulls over Washington Wizards 115-106. Philadelphia 76 ers over Brooklyn Nets 117-106. Toronto Raptors defeated Oklahoma City Thunder 130-121. Was Indiana Pacers over Minnesota Timbal 104 sorry, 99. Portland Trail Blazers defeated Houston Rockets 117 107. Despite the triple double by um, Russell Westbrook, 31 points, 11 rebounds, and 12 assists. Detroit Pistons, Port Mel, Boston 116 103. Um, Miami Heat over San Antonio Sports 106 100. And Orlando Magic, just the one point victory, stopped uh, Lakers' winning streak at 9. With a 119-118 victory, Michael Fultz, 21 points, 11 rebounds, um, and 10 assists for the Magic. Triple double, LeBron James, 19-19 points and assists for the Lakers. Yeah, but, but when, when Cook was a good, good two person, mm. um, when, when, when they were trailing by 14, they scored nine straight points, and then uh, with the game slipping out of their hands, they went back on the floor, nearly the three points. Unfortunately, which I think replied with the, the three. Um, so the streak ends at nine. But hey, remember the Lakers rule to I think it was was it nine or ten the, the, the first one before they lost. Mm. So you can, you can trust them to, to go on another road. To go on, 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 go on another road. What do we say about look at Don Kidd? Look at his problem. <laughs> it's, it, 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 the it's numbers a, are staggering. It's a buzzword in basketball. Is it his 12th triple double? And the boy is only, still only 20. Wow. The boy is still only 20. <laughs> he's been MVP in Europe and now he's now going to be. The, 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 you know, you saw most people when they when most players, you know, when they make that transition, it takes them some time to adjust. He's just fitted it. Well, this, this is second season. Yeah, I know, I know. Last season, but the way he's done it, the way he's done it here. Yeah. But you know, he, 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 he dominated players. He got older players in, in, in Europe for, for a couple of years. As we come to the NBA, we all knew that he just needed to to get the hang of all of it. Mm -hmm. Once he got the hang of it, he just started balling. Now, what most people don't realize is that. Um, Pozingis, who was the be who was the best player for mm -hmm. the Knicks last season before the before he was traded, he's also on the same team with Luca in Dallas. He's not injured. Now he's coming back and wow. just perfect because it, it just it just tilts into the into the post all 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 and then onto on, onto the post season. So watch out for Dallas Mavericks. Might just be the dark horse for the playoffs. It should be interesting. Thank you very much. But and I will return after the break with the Nigerian sports scene. Welcome back. It's the Nigerian sports scene on Sports Express. Very, very interesting match day 15 in the MPFL. Let me rush through the results. Abia Warriors defeated Ifan Yuba 2 1. Adamawa goalless with Wiki, Torres, Katsina, and Kanopilas 1 1 draw. We hear there are some skirmishes 
after that game, Rivers 2-1 over Lobby Stars. MFM came from behind to defeat Jigar Golden Stars 2-1. And Sunshine Stars took the three points, cut it with 2-1 victory over Plateau United. And then there were three away wins. Warriors 1, Rangers 2, Aimba nil, Hartland 2, Aqua United nil, Quara 2. But it, what is going on? Honestly, um, first, I'm happy with the, with the, with the result for Rangers. Yeah. Um, the, the funny thing, before this game, the coach of the team, before the left hand, that's... Um, What's his thing now? This was very Sally Sue said that um the, 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 the fans will count down and readers will be challenge will be challenging for contestant places by the time the by the time the league says I read that that's that's the thing I smiled. Because they're bottom of the they're bottom of the league. <laughs> going go for an away game. And so but now they got the win, now they got to they got to consolidate on consolidate this. And, mm. and get a win in the next game. Um but Rangers are rising and him falling. It is hard to imagine that between him and Rangers are just three points. In about fifteen points, Rangers have twelve, I'm telling wow. you. I that started like a house on fire, and uh, you just wonder where Imba are going to go from here. Um, when they won their contestant game for one at the weekend, they thought that they had turned things, things around, and then to lose at home, 2 0. Imba have not lost at home since 2014, when they lost to, uh, to Abia, Abia Warriors 1 0. Mm. That's the last home, home game they lost in the league. That's uh, six years. Yeah, six years. So wow. you know, it's, 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 it's telling that at this point, at the end of the day, there's a lot of talk around, around the team that some, some fans are saying that. Um, uh, uh, that I said the chairman should be that he's been, he's been there for too long and all that. I think the, 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 the team, if, if they don't manage this process well, they might end up where they're going to. If it gets out of hand, mm. uh, because I, I'm, I'm sure other fans have taken success for granted. They yeah. have to come and see yeah. their team, yeah. team win. Um, but now that they, they're they approaching, I think they, this is a critical point, point in, in, their, um, in, in, their, in, in their in their in the organization. They just fired the coach. The, the other room with Fatah or Shaw, or they find two, and once that happens, and the fans are still complaining, mm -hmm. then it's, 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 it's down there. It's because there. interestingly, Rangers are 18th on the log, yep. on the 12 points, Adamawa on 11, and the Nassau on 10. That's the bottom three in the Nigeria professional Meanwhile, football. Meanwhile, the Heartland FC, uh, that's uh, uh, the former coach of NFL, Ilechuku. Remember they lost their home game there? I, I mm -hmm. think they lost the, the, the two of the first three. Yeah. Now they are, they are, they are, they are rising. They are, they are rising. I think they are close to they are close to the top ten. Well, I, um, don't let me mix politics and sports here, but there is a change in government there. I hope there are no changes at the football club because so. these things tend to happen. Political appointments and all of that. Um, Lobby are top on twenty-seven points after fourteen games. One more game than Rivers United, who are currently second. Plateau United have dropped to third, two points of the pace. Today there is a game today in Takada and Nasarawa. Oh yes. Um, it's from one of those games that are still over to the next day. But before mm. I go to the Casino United, that game against Pillars. Yeah, we hear that. Every so. year since 2016, there's one trouble or the other when Casino United play, and they've, they've always, they're always paying fines. But I, I saw the pictures from 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 uh, from this from this incident. A lot of people were, were badly injured, so much blood everywhere. We've got to find a way to end this. We, we must find a way. Find a, this can't be happening in continuously. All right. On that note, we'll take a break. We we'll return with the World Soccer Report. Welcome back. It's World Soccer Report on Sports Express. Many thanks for joining us. Yeah, me this one is stretching out, <laughs> getting ready, putting his game face on. FA Cup. Manchester United finally got one over Wolves. Finally, after six games, first winning six, I think. Yeah. Again, Wolves one nil. They won the game, but it uh, looks like. Um, Hint of an injury, well, an injury to um, uh, Rashford, don't know how serious that might be. And um, Socha has admitted that playing him was a risk for the backfire. It's one of the things uh, of the Socha says in either pre match or post match press conference, it just makes me laugh. Uh, but hopefully, no, it's well, not it was too asked, serious. did it backfire? He danced around it, but he admitted he it did backfire. <laughs> Well, hopefully it's not uh, as serious as uh, some may expect. Uh, but aside that, I think it was a good victory for United. Not the best performance we've asked for, especially considering United coming off a four-day win at the weekend. Wolves are always a problem. Wolves could have gone ahead, but then VAR came in, and then and then, and then, and then somehow uh, Wamata, who seemed to be in a good vein of form after a good game yeah, at the yeah. weekend. And that was a real classy finish. 
So hopefully this this is him and it's him potentially turning the corner. In League R, um Name Neil Ren won I mean one Rem Neil and Monaco won PSG four. This one was not gonna be ending the draw. What the difference <laughs> three days I can imagine. <laughs> Tough but both, both teams, game. that's that's um, that's eleven goals, 11 goals in the two, two games, games. Yes. they played. Um, a few adjustments from from um, PSG, and then obviously stepping it up and not being overly too relaxed and all that. But you have to say that Monaco have a lot of questions to ask themselves because what direction are they going with this team? New manager is going to have time. Are they going to give him money in, in this window? And then look at what happens over the course of the few months to the summer. A lot of questions for them, but if they stay afloat, I'm sure that they will stay with this guy because the football they are playing is getting mm, better. better yeah. They're scoring goals, but they still have to sort themselves out. And some interesting results in the Coppa Italia. Ferentina 2 1 over Atalanta. Milan 3, Spa nil. Juventus 4, Udinese nil. Dybala with two of the goals in that game. Transfer trail is all talk and no action. <laughs> you may have been hearing, but it does look like. Spurs have gotten their man. Oh yeah, yeah. Jetsu Fernandez has signed for Spurs. Um, depending on, on who you are listening to, they say it's a loan deal that then mm -hmm. becomes uh, official for £5 million. Uh, pounds. Hopefully he shows up some of the issues they have in midfield. And then of course there's the uncertainty with Ericsson that they're having to deal mm -hmm. with because Mentally, you don't know where it's so he is. Long -term injury. So, it, so they needed to get somebody in the middle. They really needed to get, get somebody in the middle. And uh, hopefully he comes in and uh, clicks immediately because that's another thing when coming in general. Do you see, there's usually one that comes in from left field. Do you see any surprising transfer that we're not thinking about or talking about that just happening maybe deadline day or something? Do you see anybody pulling a fast one like that? Well, if you're looking for, for that, I doubt it will happen. But if you're looking for a surprise, well, somebody from the, the head of uh, sports science at Arsenal has moved to Liverpool. So, <laughs> <laughs> so if that's a surprise you're looking for, that's one surprise. Okay, another surprise. Maybe my you will finally sign somebody. <laughs> As far after all the... After all the talking. All, the talk, <laughs> Till then. all right. Thank you very much, Jamie. That's our show. For best of the rest, we go to baseball. Boston Red Sox have sacked manager Alex Cora as a result of his role in the sign-stealing scandal during his time as bench coach of Houston Astros. The 44-year-old who managed the Red Sox to a World Series triumph in 2018 was found guilty of playing a key role in the use of a camera to steal signs being given by catchers to pitchers in 2017. Talk about sports espionage. My name is Dick Jomoto, thanks for your time. Good morning.